Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. The topic today is China's Great Canon. Researchers from Citizen Labs, which is part of the University of Toronto, released some detailed research last Friday talking about the tool that the Chinese government can allegedly use to launch distributed denial of service attacks or man in the middle attacks. Now, you probably remember the massive distributed denial of service attack launched against GitHub a few weeks ago, which allegedly came from China. The GitHub DDoS was caused by a man in the side attack. If you visited a particular Baidu analytics page, there's a chance your browser would get a malicious JavaScript injected, which would cause you to participate in the distributed denial of service attack. Well, this Citizen Labs post shares some details about the tool that these authors allege the Chinese government can use to force this sort of JavaScript injection. Now, I can't cover the whole thing in one minute. I highly recommend you read their detailed post if you're interested in technical details. But the research talks about how this Great Canon is a different tool, although related to the Great Firewall of China. They talk about how it captures all the inline traffic coming in and out of China. And by doing so, if, for instance, they want to target traffic going to a particular Baidu web page, they can do that and instead send some other falsified, uh, in this case, injected JavaScript reply in return. The researchers compared this great canon capability to NSA's own quantum. It essentially allows these actors to man in the middle any traffic that enters or leaves China, and they can use it for this type of DDoS attack or even just to take over some victim's computer. So what's the takeaway here? Well, I believe this is just more proof of why we need to default to HTTPS for all web communications. Besides making sure our communications stay secret, it also confirms the integrity of our communication. That means if we're visiting one website, we can be sure that no one has injected any sort of malicious communication on the way there. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.